Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another a Deadman Mode tournament where I have way too many Deadman Mode accounts and I'm trying to get really expensive Deadman Mode gear in order to win or try to win on my main Deadman Mode account. Yesterday I introduced you guys to Mika DMM V2, my Wilderness Slayer only locked Deadman Mode account that farms Wilderness Slayer to get a bunch of emblems, make a ton of money, and hopefully have that very slight chance of obtaining very rare PvP weapons. The idea for this account is to get to max melee stats, get somewhat of a higher prayer level, and just AFK it in the Wilderness. If the account dies, I try to resupply it and just go right back out here. Introducing my main account, the account that is currently doing a wood cutting, skilling, all that sort of things and at the moment I'm just making sure I qualify for the deadman mode by just getting higher stats and also you guys all know about our trusted and loved the god wars only locked account which is my 99 range 75 defense only account I'm currently logged out of that account but very soon we're going to go on a very nice god wars trip so hopefully we get lucky there I really do hope you guys will enjoy the video please subscribe if you're new almost 100k that being said let's jump into the content sigil of preservation wait what does this one do again oh the levels don't drain okay that could be useful even on this account i'll see how much i can sell that for actually sigil of the serpent no man the worst one sigil of the specialized strikes nice okay so this one is going kind of weirdly in price because of the nerf so we'll see how much this one is worth these days but any sigil is a good sigil so we'll take it God of Chart 2 first drop after, what, two hours? No, one hour. Ooh, we just received a God Sword Sar... Th what? God Sword... Sh How do you say that? God Sword... So God Sword Chart 3. <laughs> if I give up, man. God Sword Chart 3, there it is. I got it. Nice. We have so many of these, like 5C. <laughs> I don't even know. Apparently, it's the seventh one we've got, so... But they still sell on the GE for, like, a few hundred K each, so we'll take it. We ended up getting another God Sword Shard 1 of a minion, so that's full blade this task already. Or, well, not task, this trip already. All right, the alt account is evolving. We are now a 99 range. I'm quickly gonna go buy a cape and we're gonna do another God Wars trip. That is very cool to see. Very happy with this one. Sara sword, by the way, Omega lol. First kill. I mean, it's okay, honestly. No way I got lobsters in a supply drop. What is this? Yeah, 76 lobsters, bro. Did they nerf it or something? What is this, bro? Like, what is this? Day one? Or what? <gasps> No, oh my god, I thought I got a pet, but I got like a achievement diary. I legit thought I got something sick, cause it- Yeah, it said Commander Ziliana Adept, and I thought that was a pet. Bro, you can't make this up. I see BA. Scared the crap out of me, man. It was 50kc achievement task. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. I have grown another healthy tree. This palm tree right here hopefully gives me a ton of experience. I need 75 to eventually plant magic trees or just 70 because I can actually boost to plant them. I have the sigil of the skiller, I have the sigil of the elf, so I get 150% bonus XP. So I get 304,000 XP going straight to level 70. Oh me, oh my, that means if I get a magic seed, I can now plant a beautiful magic tree. It comes with great pain that I am now going to be clearing my U3 stump. The tree stump that got me all the way to 23 million woodcutting experience so that been mode and it made me believe it or not over a million just straight up cash while i'm playing other accounts but now we get the upgraded the better version the one and only magic sapling all we gotta do is make sure it doesn't die so let's see if we can do that sigil of the porcupine very cool so they actually upgrade like they actually buffed this by quite a bit so now it's going for quite a lot of the grand exchange i don't know if people are just kind of panic buying it or whatever but it could be a good sigil for the 1v1s because of their turn damage it does so there it is might want to sell this for a couple hundred k and an emblem right after as you can see this these trips are amazing i get like five to six emblems per task i obviously don't show you every single task i do but we're already up to 74 slayer and i plan to being here for honestly i don't really know how long we'll see whenever i see someone trying to hit me here i'll probably dip away from this place but i'm a big fan of it and i'm getting a ton of emblems Hey, 99 in the attack department on our wilderness locked slayer only account. Wonderful. Now we have 99 defense to go for. And after that, I'm probably just getting 200 mil strength. Honestly, I don't think I ever want to touch range. And I don't really think I'm ever touching mage too much. Aside from specking with Sara, Sara swords. And that's it. Yeah. So now I'm basically hitting max hits all the time, which is sick. Still no PvP drops to be seen. But I'm not the one to give up. I'll give you that much. So I've been getting a ton of these supply drops that I'm not recording all of them 
but I think I can definitely feel the sigil taking in effect. The fact that I'm getting 20% more deadman mode drops. I think I can feel it. Obviously, it could just be a placebo effect, but I mean, 20% is 20%. Pretty solid, up to 82 defense, almost 83. I think I can finish this early tomorrow. All right, so all the chopping of the logs led to this moment where we can now process those logs in one tick. 20,000 experience, thank you very much. Let's get 20,000 experience more. I think if I do something like a longbow, maybe, it would be better. Oh, and uh, would you look at that? Oh, and it also gives me a little bit more XP. Uh, this also purchased a sigil of the rampage. I bought it for 2.4 million. It might drop, it might go up. Even after the nerf, I think this is going to be the best sigil in the game to use in the 1v1s alongside some others, obviously. Uh, so I'm very happy to have that. Uh, for now, let's do a little bit of fletching. I don't know how many I'll do, but I can always sell this in like general store for profit. Not a lot of profit, but, but profit regardless. And if I just do this, once I'm higher fletching, I can do that with U trees. I can do that with magic logs and so on and get crazy money. Yeah, this is insanely fast. I'm getting 8 mil XP an hour. I guess I might just go all the way to 99, to be honest. Look, already 67. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Look at the XP per hour. I wonder how high it can go. What? It appears that I get stuck on 15 million an hour when it comes to fletching. Another sigil, this time sigil of barbarians. I'm really looking forward to hopefully getting some sigil of the skillers or something really expensive on this account so I can afford some expensive gear. But yeah, I'm just enjoying AFK in here. It's nice. Sigil of the elves very soon after. I do believe this one sells for like almost 200k. It's a really useful one, so very nice. Not an ideal sigil, sigil of garments. I probably have a ton of these already, but it is what it is. All skilling outfits, not my favorite. I guess this trip I'm just getting every single sigil in the game. Here is sigil of the ruthless ranger. Dude, where was my luck at the start of the tournament? Damn it. So while I'm grinding really hard to get uh, items on my wilderness account, like PvP weapons, sigils, whatever it is, I decided I'll go for some very high stats, just basic stats, on my main account. So the first thing I'm actually gonna do right now, I have Sigil of the Garments, Sigil of the Skiller, and Sigil of the Gnomes, and I'll actually just thieve some people, see what thieving level I get to. It should be very simple and very fast. Yeah, I'll just get all my skills kinda high, prepare for the finals, and while I'm doing all the skilling on this one, I'm gonna go ahead and hunt for a lot of rare items on the wilderness account. If you ever wanted to see something extremely satisfying in deadman mode, this is it. This has to do it. Look at this. 42,000 herb XP. Hey, that's not it. Give me more. 42,000 herb XP. Wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. 42,000 herb XP. Dude, this is so satisfying. Oh my god. If you're wondering what relics I'm using over here, it is going to be a alchemist, barbarians, and skiller all together, uh, nicely packed into one. It's so enjoyable. This is about all the herbs I had from just casual slayer I used to do. 76 herb. Very solid. Up to 78 slayer already on the AFK -er, and at this point, I think I am concluded as to what I want to reach. I want to reach 83 Slayer at first, so then I can kill Spiritual Mages. I know that Dragon Boots aren't worth as much anymore, but I feel like it would be an interesting shot picking those for a Slayer task over and over again, seeing how many D-Boots I can actually stack up on before dying. I, I feel like it would be like a cool little challenge, we'll see, but the stats are looking great. Just got a Sigil of the Menacing Mage. I keep getting these useless ones. Very happy with this spot, but I think I'm gonna be moving on pretty soon. All of a sudden, I started having that sudden itch on on my main account that what if at some point I want to max deadman mode imagine going into the final hour with a maxed account that would be sick I only have a couple of hellhounds left I'm taking a bit of an interesting choice when it comes to sigils I'm not taking any aggressive ones I'm just taking skiller barbarians and devotion so I'm getting a ton of prayer xp a ton of experience in general and obviously a lot of extra slayer xp so I think it would be doable just a little bit risky and there it is that was level 90 slayer I don't know how long I'll keep at it I'll see what my next task is really and how many points I have maybe I can pick a task something like blood belt something that's really really safe but for now I just wanted to finish this off another reason as to why I return to regular slayer is I still don't have a imbued heart and that's a pretty important item so I guess I can kind of hunt it a little bit so we have just completed 29 tasks in a row and we don't have a lot of points but if I quickly attune the sigil of slaughter I can quickly assign myself a task of blood welds now blood welds are safe but also 
also they have superior creatures that I could maybe get assigned and maybe get a heart from and now I'm gonna reattune it to the barbarians I should get a ton of XP in both slayer prayer and also a chance on imbued heart it is the morning I got the sigils to boost my farming XP and look at it my magic tree is now grown and let's see if the palm tree is also grown this gives me 413,000 farming XP and here is the palm tree and that gives me 300k XP up to 77 farming doing absolutely almost nothing um and yeah now we're gonna move on to focusing on our wilderness account and actually maxing it completely oh this is beautiful just sit here chop the magic tree bring up the uh wilderness account and focus on grinding stats so in the meantime i got all the way to 99 strength attack and 94 defense now I'm basically just focusing for 5 more defense levels and with the experience that I'm getting this will probably take me approximately like 5 hours and then I'll be done with uh, just the stats portion of this account. However, a lot of things uh, that are possible with this layer level and I'm really looking forward to it. Whoa, 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 I just, whoa, dragon plate body? <laughs> what? Wait, let me get, let me take this to safety, hold on, what is that drop actually? What in the fuck? It's so useless but so expensive. Up to 65 emblems now and oh look at it. Can I wear it even? I can! <laughs> Sigil of the Fortune Farmer, if I remember correctly, I don't know what it is, so let's quickly go up and check. Oh uh, yeah, clue scrolls are stackable, very useless one unfortunately. 95 defense, 96 defense. I ended up sniping the Drake's Tooth for only like 60k, and for this account that is really good because now I can have Devout Boots, which give me even more prayer bonus, very cool. There it is, 97 defense, for some reason I was on the wrong screen, unlucky, but two more levels to go and the account is basically complete. We're also 79 Slayer and uh, my food delivery is here so I got a dip not quite the supply drop you want but I mean hey 13 super restores is not too bad let's be honest so we'll take it and there it is 98 defense just one more level to go honestly and we're done sigil of the slaughter now this one actually probably goes for a little bit I mean the fact that you can pick your task you know can be quite convenient in some situations good sigil I'd say there it is 99 defense so now we have attack strength and defense completed HP is still on the way I've just finished this task so I should probably go Go grab another one slayer is almost 81 just a couple of kills away and at this point this account is completed and i forgot the returning ring uh, but i'm grinding for 100 archaic emblems and at that point we're gonna cash them all in and probably make anywhere between 5 to 10 million at deadman mode gold unless i get killed which hopefully i don't and then we can reinvest that money to afford some really good gear basically so even if we don't get any rare drops from the whole wilderness adventures we still get a ton of money in deadman mode current situation with emblems is 85 if you guys are wondering how many i have killed it may seem like i'm not killing a lot of dark warriors but trust me i've been playing this account a lot in fact if you check the time played i've played it for a day and 17 hours that is a long play time already and as you can see we did end up getting obviously this dragon plate body uh, these are all supply drops these torsos prayer potions mystic bottoms steam runes coins these are all supply drops these are like all your basic drops so completely shit and then i also got 12 of Laran's keys and obviously a bunch of sigils that I've mostly shown so very solid but unfortunately no real good drops but I'm not the one to give up so I'll keep going just quickly sold a couple of the sigils oh my god I made 400k so basically the account already paid for itself just based off the sigil drops there is quite a lot of stuff that I can still sell so yeah we made some fat coin on this account this is wonderful hold on that's a that's a good sigil that's a sigil of supreme supreme stamina that's a really good one people pay a lot of money for this I don't know if people still pay a lot of money for this but it's a good one sigil of the gnomes another sigil nothing crazy this one but I think it could go for like 50 to 100k because people need to get their stats up to qualify to 1v1s sigil of the garments that's a useless one but it's a sigil nonetheless and we are currently killing some blood welds on the main account in hopes of superior creature so we could maybe land on an imbued heart but also if we kill superiors we have that 100% chance on a rare drop table so maybe we get something cool out of that so I'm kind of just slaying on two accounts at the same time all right another supply drop archaic emblem tier 5 believe it or not that is the first tier 5 emblem I have received from the dark warriors let's just make sure we're safe we are tier 5 emblem that is crazy that's the first one i have been here for over 2400 kills of these dark warriors and this is the first one we got very nice oh he's attacking that guy that's for sure is he going for me look at this dude okay i'll let him i'll let him actually let's see what happens 
Let's go. Let's see how good he is. He seems to have a Darug though, so I need to be careful. Nah. Okay, it was a good try, I'd say. I don't have spec anymore though, so that's all I'm gonna do. I don't think he had a prayer on for that one, so it was a good attempt. It just hit zeros. This is the moment we have been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. This, the big chonker, this is why I'm doing this. If this is the heart, or anything rare, we'll be happy, okay? Let's please get something good. Please. Dude, I need it, man. I need it. I really need it. 87k Slayer XP. Oh, I got a tier 5 emblem. It's okay, though. It's it's okay. Tier 5 will take it. Not ideal, though, but it's alright. Got a prayer level, though. Nice. Alright, it is time to buy a lot of prayer potions on our main account. Uh, the money would be very, very useful right now. Oh, I also don't have stamina. Guess I can just buy one. We'll see if there's any PK airmen in the... Ooh, there are. I mean, are they just gonna fight each other? Are they gonna go on me? Since there's PK airs, I'll just go buy a few more. Buy a stam. This is gonna be too slow, though. I, I need to do this when there's no PK airs, I think. Uh, okay, okay, sure. Let's just have a bit of a tank test then, shall we? Uh, what is this? Freedom. Goodbye. Freeze me again if you want. That's 10k right there. Let's just porcupine it up as well. Let's hit him back a little bit. Range brain to melee. Never give him the free melee hit, basically. That's the idea. Realistically, the only way I die here is if uh, yeah he realizes it he has no chance of killing me and he just lets me go so the only way i die is if he gets like a fat like 70 80 vls in my face which he can't do really i didn't voice crack by the way it was it was him big fan of the sigil the sigil of freedom that just gets me straight to safety immediately nice i know who this dark mire guy is by the way that's the guy that attacked me under the slayer tower a lot because i added him on ignore see it's a wilson guy who remembers the wilson is the ball from the movie really I wonder how many times he wants to try. And now what? <laughs> nice. Sorry bro, I lost 5k. It's so funny when they try, you know, because they keep trying, but there's nothing they can do. We ended up getting 700 prayer potions. I'll keep a few. I actually might sell them overnight, honestly. 2-7? Oh shit, 2,700. 2 million dead men when they, when they sell. This is awesome. This is nice money. There's 82, and we got an emblem on the same drop, and one more level until we can do something else. Ooh, ah, uh, bad. Unlucky. Well, we'll take it, though. Sad. I look away from the screen for half a second, and I got two emblems on the floor just chilling, waiting for me. Free money, just like that. It's so simple, this dead man mode, man. Everybody's spooky now? Bro, nothing is spooky. Just cut your damn magic tree, and you're good. Look at me. Ah, oh, fuck, wrong account. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, wait. Oh no, there's PKers. No, that's such a bad timing. No, 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 wait, I can't switch it. I can't switch it, I swear. <laughs> no way. No way that's happening right now. Okay, okay, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> I got you guys, didn't I? I never got attacked, by the way. <laughs> the moment of truth. Is it over 100? No, we have to do one more. Sad. Sigil of the Menacing Mage. Shit. One more emblem and we'll be on 100. Ladies and gentlemen, this is it. The emblem that throws us on 100 emblems obtained. It took me 2,587 Dark Warriors to obtain this. And uh, in the morning, we're probably gonna cash this out and buy a bunch of potions. That's gonna make me a ton of money in Deadman mode. So one could say that this account was a very big success and very big return on my investment. The investment was really time and 500k. And uh, it brought it back, uh, like, basically, I probably made well over... 10 million in just drops in one day so very very successful on this account i'd say Ooh, 83 slayer we can now uh, after this task look to do our strategy oh now oh, tier 5 another one second tier 5 did they just buff the drop table this is huge all right that's just more prayer potions i'll make so much money on this account tomorrow <laughs> That is second tier 5 in 2500 kill count that is nuts oh 99 hit points whoa I'm maxed on an alternate account in a temporary game mode. Do we do the third account now or what? I mean, I have the money. <laughs> Let's make an entire farm of accounts to play Deadman mode with. Huge. I should really pick this up. Emblem, please. I know I have no space, man. I'm struggling from success. <laughs> Nothing crazy, okay? Nothing crazy in our bank. We just have casual 105 <laughs> emblems. 
Two tier fives, 16 Latin keys. Hey, nothing crazy here. Just a day's work, you know? One day work, and we're good to go. We're chilling over here. Before I cash the emblems in, there is one more thing I gotta do. I gotta get 70 ranged. And that is so I can wear Black Dehyde. The Black Dehyde is gonna give me an ability to tank PKers a little bit easier. Because these monk robes, they just ain't cutting it. Edgeville is a PK hotspot, so I kinda need those. And with the Sigil of Consistency and the Ruthless Ranger, I should be able to get up to 70 range very very quickly just afking using a bone crossbow after that we're gonna cash in all the emblems and see how much money we made perfect 70 range now all I gotta do is pretend I'm a big noob and go cash in all the emblems that is going to be a lot of points perfect I made myself look like a complete idiot and now it is going to be the time to throw away well not throw away but cash in all of these emblems. This will take me a very long time, so I'm a little bit nervous. Hopefully I don't get permanently attacked and dragged. have a couple of sigils to help me with my project. Sigil of escaping will be used uh, once I'm unfrozen, and sigil of freedom will be used once I'm frozen, just to run further away, basically. Uh, right, let's see how this goes, and uh, yeah, my magic level is really low, so uh, they will catch every single freeze on me, uh, and that's basically why I'm a bit nervous, but I think we should be alright. This is what I lose if I die. Nothing too crazy, I'm not too worried about it, couple hundred K. I put everything else in my deposit box that I really need. Um, and this is what? 107 emblems, 2 tier 5 emblems, and I guess I'll do this at the end most likely, but this is what this is going to get you. Let's see how much profit we actually made on the account. Here we go! Monko. I will be praying melee prey throughout the whole time so I don't get direct bombed and the uh, option of choice is going to be prayer potions. Those are going for a lot right now. I will also uh, go ahead and probably buy some others here and there but it will mainly be prayer pots. Oh and also if I speak to him I don't think I ever even uh, gave him all the emblems. Yeah there we go. All the emblems are now in 13 million points. Oh, this will take me hours to buy all these potions. I didn't think it would be this many points. Hey, he's a homie. Let's go. This is crazy amount of points. What? So if you're wondering what I do, I'm basically constantly praying melee prey so I never get DH bomb. Uh, you can check my inventory. I use three inventories of prayer potions, just like so. And then the last one, I either take bruise or restores or range pods. The bruise are not as much money as prayer potions are. The restores are a bit less than bruise, but the prices constantly fluctuate. So you kind of need to just go with something. Prayer potions are gonna be the most annoying to do, but they're gonna net you the most profit and all the other ones are just gonna be a bit more less profit, right? And this is how I do it. I'll try to do one really quick trip so you see how I do this. So rewards, boom, prayer potions, use in, boom, prayer potions, use in, boom, prayer potions, drink one if needed, in, Rewards, there's a pick here maybe. I buy brew. If I see red dot, I instantly buy bruise. That's my indication. I know for a fact I can tank to grand exchange because bruise is what's gonna uh, allow you to tank till the end pretty much usually. Uh, but yeah, that's how it looks like. I still have 7 million points. Ugh. Yeah, it's gonna take forever. Really? Okay, there we go. We have a... Ooh. Nice. So the sigils are easy. Hit him with the easy. <laughs> He's angry. Really? The sigil is OP by the way. I'll hit him with a close. <laughs> I wonder how many times he's gonna try, by the way. Legit. Okay, it's a 42 there. That's alright. Didn't die. If you have ever wondered what 100 and a couple emblems will get you in deadman mode, well, here is the result. Um, oh me, oh my. 23 million worth of loot, but obviously these sell for quite a little bit less. But I'm speculating that once I sell these overnight, it is going to be worth more than 10 million deadman mode 
coins. So this account was an insane success. These are the stats if you're still interested in it. Um, I have definitely some special things planned for it in the future. I mean, the Deadman mode is still quite long. It ends on 17th of it ends on 17th of September. So there's a ton of more things I want to do. Uh, but this is definitely going to help me get some of the items that I need in order to achieve my max setup. I really do hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Obviously, yesterday we didn't end up uploading. I was kind of short on the content, but also I wanted to have a little bit of a day for myself because I've been going really, really hard this Deadman mode. If you are new around here, please subscribe. We are almost at 100,000 subs. We just reached 97k. We are right there, okay? If you check below the video, you made it this far. You've probably seen a couple of my videos before. Please subscribe, it would mean the world to me. That being said, I'll see you very very soon with another video, and until then, stay safe and bye bye.